everybody welcome back to the channel so I found another way to get out on the water I just went out and purchased a blitz 100 pelican kayak from a local sporting goods store I wanted to start getting into uh, kayak fishing I've seen a whole lot on YouTube uh, TikTok, and Instagram I've, I follow some some anglers that go out on them so I thought hey that that'd be a pretty cool way to get out on the water and do some fishing it's a lot easier than hooking the trailer up to the truck and, and getting out onto the big water. There's a lot of, lot of local ponds, lakes, and streams, and, and even some small rivers I wanna actually try to get the kayak out onto. So I decided I didn't wanna pull a whole lot of money out of the project, so I settled on a Blitz 100 from a local sports store, and I paid just, just about 300 bucks for it. But after watching some videos online and whatnot, I saw that there is a large amount of accessories that you can put on these kayaks. So I went ahead and dove right in and got into the mix of, of those accessories. So this is just a quick video of what I've done to the kayak thus far. Check it out, the Pelican Blitz 100. So I picked this up from Dick's Sporting Goods. It's got a nice little storage unit here in the front with this uh, rubber elastic piece that covers your gear, keeps it nice and tight in place. It's got these molded four-step uh, footrests. I'm gonna get rid of these and put some adjustable ones in. These take up way too much space. In the center, we've got some cup holders, a cell phone holder, and uh, a little latch that opens up to allow other gear to be stored inside the hole. Here we go, we've got their Ergo Lounge seating system. Alongside that, we do have where they have it molded in bungee cord where you can rest your oar and or paddle. And for us fishermen, we've got two flush mounted rod holders and some accessory eyelets. This particular one comes with this removable pack that's safely bungee corded in. But we're gonna remove that and I've picked up some accessories to really outfit this for more of my angling and fishing needs. So let's get this more FX4 Outdoors certified. Let's start with the addition of adjustable footrests instead of these four position molded rests that actually take up a lot of leg space. I picked these up off of Amazon. I'll share those down in the description. So all I'm doing here guys is I've got a drill and a bit that I'm just drilling out the rivets in order to detach these molded footrest. I did it both obviously on the left and right side. It's a bit of a process, but overall pretty easy. Now unfortunately with these adjustable foot pedals, they did not come with the necessary hardware to attach it to the kayak. So what did I use? I used Weathermax stainless steel Panhead Phillips sheet metal screws. These were number 10s and they were about an inch and a half in order to get through obviously the foot pedal and the plastic molding of the kayak. Check out the finished product. Look at how much more leg room you actually establish with those thinner rails instead of those molds. Next, I've added a couple low profile four inch tracks that fit perfectly in these cutouts in the mold. So these are made by Scotty again. I got them off of Amazon. These are the four inch variety. I also added a larger 8 inch track in order to have an additional space for both the rob holder and possibly a camera mount. So let's take a look of how these tracks work. Here's a Scotty rod mount that just slides right in, locks into position, and now I have it available for each location. And the next step, I am upgrading the handles on this particular kayak. So I went to a more reinforced uh, rubber handle. It's a lot more comfortable. I added one to the back and to the front to replace the, the existing rope lanyards that they have in place. And then on the sides where they have the, uh, the mold cut out to place your hand in order to carry it from the side, I'm gonna go ahead and add two more, one above each, each cutout mold in order to make a more secure handle to make it a lot easier to carry the, the kayak from obviously the truck out onto the water. 
And that'll do it for this upgrade. I will, again, I will attach all the links to the products I used on this kayak in the description of the video. But for now, she's ready for the water. All right guys, so there you have it. So there's the first series of my modifications. Again, check out the list here below on those accessories that I purchased off of Amazon. Click the subscribe link to get more updates on the kayak. I'm gonna be releasing a couple more videos as again, I've added just a little bit more uh, as far as the modifications. So check out those videos here once you've subscribed. Thanks again for visiting the channel. Till next time, here Fishy Fishy. See you on the water.